Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video guys, we are back with the third episode of Farming to Hyperion and let me just tell you guys, this video is insane. We do manage to get a bunch of things unlocked, make a bunch of money and just progress in the series a lot. So let me just go over the rules real quick for the new viewers here. We only make our money from farming. We do not accept any donations. So as you guys can tell just from the rules, it's going to be a very hard series and our ultimate goal is actually indeed to get the Hyperion. Anyways guys, that's enough for the intro for me. Let's get straight into the video. But before I do, one last thing, make sure you guys do subscribe as it really does motivate me to carry on uploading these type of videos. But other from that, let's get straight into the video. So what I wanted to do firstly is actually upgrade my garden level. So what I went and done is actually went and bought some compost from the bazaar in order to actually unlock a new plot. So then I actually decided to go over to the garden and actually use the compost to buy a new plot so that we could actually use and grow some more farms. So guys, I actually did decide I wanted a pumpkin farm. So I decided to clear the farm out off camera obviously because that stuff's just boring and it takes a while to actually do and we decided to start growing our pumpkins because i did actually hear that it is pretty decent for making some early game money so yeah after that guys i actually did see there was a jacob event for sugarcane and pumpkins but i was kind of late for both of them so i decided to just really go with sugarcane at the end of the day while farming some pumpkins because i saw there was a massive lead and i had no chance but i mean to be fair i had no chance on both because i did start late and plus i don't feel like our setup is the best right now so after that i decided i'd probably want to start upgrading my garden level so i could upgrade my farming fortune from the garden using some copper so i decided to buy some more compost and start unlocking my next plot after that i actually decided i may as well get another plot guys because i'm looking to get a bunch of farms at once so that we could possibly make an unlimited farm which would obviously give us more money in general and some more crops to actually level up our garden level so that's why i done i decided to get some more compost and actually unlock another plot so I then did actually see there was another event for wheat this time and I decided to actually try and do this one because I feel like we have the best chance at actually getting a bronze medal in wheat if it's anything. So I decided to actually farm some wheat and as you guys see we are very close to actually getting bronze. We just need to farm for a little bit more and we should be able to get it. I then actually did realize that, you know, I feel like we have our bronze medal secured in this contest. So I decided to actually go ahead and actually upgrade my farming fortune for pumpkins. After I done pumpkins, I actually decided to do wheat, sugarcane, and that's about all for now because that was the only farms I actually did have at the time. So I feel like it was probably best upgrading those. After that, I did actually purchase some farmer boots after selling my Jacob tickets for about 500k. And as you guys see, it actually gives me one plus farming fortune per skill level that I have for farming, which is amazing. But then guys, a visitor actually arrived at my island and it actually offered a ton of copper. So I decided to actually go ahead and farm some sugarcane because we needed free enchanted sugarcane for this. Because I was doing some visitors guys and guess what guys, I got the cultivating one book which sold for about 4.5 million coins. I was just doing a bunch of random visitors and I did not realize one of them had the cultivating book which sold for so much because I'm not gonna lie, I did not know what this was at this time of the like as this time of the video because this was insane. I should have probably saved it, but I still sold it because that is an insane amount of coins. Because I accidentally sold the enchanted sugarcane that I actually did manage to get. So I decided I would might as well just buy it back, especially with the money that I just got from that other visitor. So I decided to buy free enchanted sugarcane and actually go ahead and complete this visitor, giving us about 134 copper, which is insane. So guys, I was just farming some pumpkins and as you guys see, this sold for about 320k and this was only in about 10 minutes. So if we do the maths here guys, we make about almost 2 million coins an hour, which is pretty decent, but I feel like we could definitely do better. After that, I actually decided to go ahead and use some of my copper on some Sunder 1 books because I know they sell for a decent amount to Bazaar. So we decided to head over to the Bazaar and see how much they sold for and they actually did sell for a lot. 834,000 coins is a ton of money just from spending like 100 or whatever so copper on those books. So after that guys, I made a really big purchase of 1.2 million coins on a compactor 5,000 which means we now have 3 slots instead of 1 to actually automatically craft our, own, our items. 
So after that, I obviously decided to sell my old compactor for about 400,000, I mean not 400,000, 900,000 coins, which is a decent amount. So we only spent about 400,000 coins on that personal compactor, which is a decent upgrade. After that, I decided to spend a ton of money on some Sunder One Books, as I know they make a ton of money, and we did actually make a ton of money from it. We made about 900,000 coins from it, which is a huge W, increasing our balance by a ton. But after that, I decided to go back to farming, and as you guys see, we are farming something different that we have never farmed before, actually potatoes. The only reason I am actually farming this right now is to increase our garden level. That I said I was going to do at the start of the video, but I got a bit distracted. So as you guys can see, our garden level is rapidly increasing just from farming a bunch of potatoes, which gives us a bunch of garden XP. The main focus of this is actually to upgrade my farming fortune for like other stuff like, you know, maybe, I don't know, pumpkins and like wheat and sugarcane, stuff like that. Because we are legit capped at a certain amount of like farming fortune we're allowed to upgrade our crops to. And then after farming that, I decided to level up my cocoa bean farm by planting some cocoa beans obviously in the other plot that I actually did make obviously I cleared that out and stuff and obviously once again our garden level is increasing rapidly so guys I had another visitor that legit gave us a ton of copper so I decided to buy five enchanted sugar cane and then go ahead and actually run over to this visitor and give it to her so that we could get about almost 200 copper which I spent on some books and actually upgrading my farming fortune so guys, there is a pumpkin event for Jacob coming up very close and I decided I want to see if we're able to get a bronze medal in maybe pumpkin. So I decided to actually go ahead and start by farming a ton of pumpkin, seeing how much we can get. And let me just tell you guys, it gets real close. So as you guys see, we managed to barely get a bronze medal here in the pumpkins jacob event and we did actually get a ton of pumpkins from this which equals a ton of money where we made about seven hundred thousand coins of selling everything and then we get that extra five hundred thousand coins from the bronze medal which is great all right guys so i decided to actually make some big purchases in upgrading my farming setup so what i decided to do is buy turbo pumpkin 4 for 2.8 million as we couldn't get turbo pumpkin 5 and then I decided to actually go ahead and go over to the AH and buy myself a pumpkin dicer for 4 million coins. So guys, I do actually realise now that it was not the 3.0, uh, which is kind of sad. I probably should have got the 3.0, but it gets more farming wisdom, I'm pretty sure it gives you. But I decided to actually enchant this and just try and get it as maxed out as possible. Because I know we gotta get the blessed reforge on it and recom it as well. But obviously this is a huge step for us guys. So hopefully we get some bronze medals and maybe even silver in the pumpkin contests. So after that I decided to actually remove the cocoa beans and make a third pumpkin farm here. As you guys can see that we have three pumpkin farms which should be more efficient when farming pumpkins for us. After that, I did actually manage to get our first bronze medal. I was really close to getting silver, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, we managed to get a bronze medal, which is an easy 500k at the end of the day. And that's with the new pumpkin DSL. After that, I did actually realize we are missing out on a lot of farming fortune. So I decided to actually add Sunder 5 onto my axe because I'm pretty sure that adds a lot more farming fortune. So guys, with the new upgrades we managed to actually get with the pumpkin dicer, I actually did compete in another pumpkin contest where we placed bronze. And guys, I'm not even joking, we were like 2,000 crops of silver. But I mean, either way guys, we're making a lot of money from this. I mean, we made about 500k in about 10 minutes, which is pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. I think it's like 500, 700k around there in about 10 minutes. But yeah guys, that's probably going to wrap up today's video here. I hope you guys did actually enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure you guys do like and subscribe for more content like this. But from that guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Farming to Hyperion very soon.